Why does it matter to understand the intricate details of engineering materials and manufacturing processes? This question might seem tedious at first, but the more one dives into the answer, the more fascinating it becomes. Consider engineering materials, the building blocks of everything from the most minute microchip to the tallest skyscraper. Understanding the structure and properties of these materials is paramount. It's like knowing the ingredients in a recipe. Each material plays a specific role, and understanding that role allows for better application and innovation. One method of understanding these materials is through phase diagrams which give a clear picture of how different elements interact under varying conditions of temperature and pressure. Additionally, heat treatment plays a crucial role in altering the properties of materials. It can increase hardness, improve toughness, or even relieve stress, making the material more suitable for specific applications. Once we comprehend the material, we then delve into the stress-strain diagrams. These are essentially the report cards of materials, assessing their performance under different loads. They provide critical information about a material's strength, ductility, and elasticity. Moving on from the materials themselves, let's explore the manufacturing processes, starting with casting, forming, and joining. These are the methods used to shape and assemble materials. Casting involves pouring liquid material into a mold and allowing it to solidify. Molds, patterns, and cores are all crucial design elements in this process. They determine the shape and size of the final product. The process of solidification and cooling is also imperative, as it affects the material's properties and the quality of the final product. Forming encompasses a broad range of processes, including hot and cold working, which deform the material into the desired shape. The principles of powder metallurgy also fall under this category, offering an alternative route to produce unique materials and products. Joining processes, including welding, brazing, soldering, and adhesive bonding, are used to combine materials. Each process has its own set of principles that dictate its application and effectiveness. The next steps on this journey through manufacturing processes are machining and machine tool operations. These involve removing material to achieve the desired shape and dimensions, Understanding the mechanics of machining, the use of single and multi-point cutting tools, and the principles of non-traditional machining processes is crucial to efficient and effective manufacturing. Metrology and inspection are the quality control of manufacturing. They involve measuring and testing products to ensure they meet the specified dimensions, shape, and surface finish. Tolerance analysis in manufacturing and assembly is a key aspect of this area, ensuring the final product functions as intended. Finally, in the era of digital transformation, computer-integrated manufacturing has become increasingly important. CAD-CAM integration tools have revolutionized the way designs are transformed into tangible products, increasing efficiency and accuracy. In conclusion, understanding engineering materials and manufacturing processes is akin to understanding the language of creation. It's about comprehending the characteristics of the building blocks we use and the methods we employ to assemble them into useful products. It's about ensuring quality and efficiency in what we produce. So, the next time you hold a product in your hand, remember the complex symphony of processes that brought it to life.